Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Be Fragrance. Uh, today, um, today I want to talk to you very briefly about uh, about the correlation between perfumes and emotions. We all know the sense of smell has powerful and direct connection with our emotions, memories, and desire. We all born with likes and dislikes, and from a very young age, and also through experience in genetics. Um, we build up our own, we call it smell bank. And as time moves on, this bank evolves. And after we reach some certain age, we think we have gained enough experience to go out on our own and hunt. And you know, a hunter cannot hunt without his equipment. It's the same thing with us. Uh, we cannot go out and hunt without our equipment. And our equipment are a nice outfit, um, you know, nice shoes and sometimes perfumes but the hunter i mean the hunter uh he hunts animals and women i wouldn't say all of us but some of us they hunt women sometimes a certain perfume has the ability to trigger emotions and when it does this perfume becomes part of our life the reason why smells trigger emotions is because the sense of smell is the only one of our senses biologically linked to our limbic system which is the brain of our emotions. The limbic system is a very complex system of nerves and networks in the brain involving several areas near the edge of the cortex. Cortex is the outer layer of the brain and is connected with instinct and mood. And it controls the basic emotions uh, such as fear, pleasure, anger, hunger, sex, and even dominance, even though dominance is not one of the basic emotions, but it controls that too. A perfume can play a major role in your life, specifically in your relationship. And after you're done hunting and you found your romantic partner, the love of your life, the one you've been looking for, and now relationships start to get more intense. A perfume is able to take your relationship to a whole nother level. The early Egyptians, they used perfumes as a part of their religious ceremonies and also they used it as a pre-love making preparations. And we still do the same thing until now. Um, at night, when we feel somehow kind of carnal, we want to get frisky. We spray some perfumes that would make our bodies even more irresistible. So basically, it's always about the smell. It's not only with us, it's even with animals. And to be more accurate, let's take the dogs as an example. You see a female dog stands somewhere or hidden somewhere and she has an eye contact with a male dog that stands nearby. He understands that was a signal. So he walks her direction and she saw him coming. And she wanted to make it easier for him by lifting up her tail so he can stick his nose in and sniff. And he lifts up his so she can smell too. And now they're done with smelling each other's behind. And now they're equal. But there's a huge difference between a male dog and a female dog. A male dog, when he sniffs, that goes straight to his brain. And his brain tells him, okay, that's the one. I want a hump. But with the female dog, when she sniffs, she actually finds out and detects if he's healthy, fit, and fertile. And if so, then she can mate. If not, she walks away. Sometimes the female dog walks away. That, that means something. If she walks away, that means there's something isn't right. There's something wrong with him. He doesn't take no for an answer. I think he doesn't like the fact that she actually walked away. He barks at her. He doesn't like that. And I think he because I said, yeah, so you let me sniff, but you don't want to let me hit. But thank God we don't do this. Just imagine. That would be really awkward. Just imagine if we walk around smelling each other's butts. If we want to get to know someone, but thank God we don't do this. Um, that's why we stick to perfume. That's really, we're really cool with that. But yeah, sometimes you wish if the female can give you a sign, like she can lift up her metaphorical tail, you know, as a sign, you know, come over, talk to me. But they don't do this. I mean, they always want to play hard to get. I know we kind of drifted away from our main topic. So what I was actually trying to say is um, perfume can evoke memories, emotions, better than anything else. That's my opinion. I'd like to hear yours. So write your opinions down below in the comment section. And um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. 
and until next time yeah peace